So guys, a quick update on Bitcoin. It's been a while since I've made a video here. Um, I still think that, you know, this is what's going on, guys. This is just like a prolonged W, X, Y, X, Z or whatever uh, way for. And we do have one more leg up. Um, it does look like we are kind of waking here. But, you know, if we do go, I think we have one more push up, to be honest. But if we do go back down, I think we might just go like halfway and then we go back up to like top of the range. It's kind of what I'm that's kind of what I'm leaning on right now, guys. I'll show you my thought process you know let's just go down time by uh like time frame by time frame right now but yeah on the weekly you know the squeeze is tight um i do think it's going to do the same thing as this point right here eventually and then we're, we are going to break up um i mean we had a crazy drop right here and the squeeze did not get released right so that's kind of what i think even if you look at the rsi right now guys that looks like a corrective pattern still it's correct corrective pattern still guys it's a uh, right here a b c d e right here inverse head and shoulders pattern then we break go up so that you know the high time frames right now look like um look pretty bullish and even on two week we have like a td9 going down right um and if you look at like this drop right here on the two week like this whole this whole uh below this trend line right here is pretty much all liquidity zone so if in the next four hours we do or, you know, the next week after this uh, two week close that we're going to have in four hours, if we do break down, I am expecting like a like a wick type retest right before we go back up to the top of the range. So that's kind of that's kind of what I think is going on right now, guys. So let's just go down on time frames and try to keep this video to like 15 minutes in length. So even if you look at three day here, right? So three day on the RSI, at least so this looks like a corrective pattern right there, right? Kind of similar to what the the one week is showing right and this is kind of like your final tip drop here before we go up uh so that's still what i think is going on you know if you look at the daily we did get rejected at some of these emas here this is kind of stacked a lot of other things here at like 62k um i still think though that i mean even this point right here if you look at the daily right we kind of back tested this top trend line moving averages and you know i think also uh, there was like stacked 618s right there as well. So there's a lot of resistance that we kind of, you know, bended over on, right? As well as like on the price. Um, but like I said, this right here looks like a corrective pattern. So most likely it's just going to do something like that. I mean, I think short term though, we it is still possible that we go up to this area here before we were to have a retrace and then go up. And I think that was kind of still a possibility. But if we do go down right now, I, uh, I'm expecting this point right here about to hold here, guys, at like 57K um, before we go back up. So that's kind of what I think right now. That's my, uh, in my opinion, I think that's what's going on, uh, not financial advice. So even if you look at the mid time frames, right, you could just see like, you know, there's a lot of stuff just stacked here, right, as resistance that it just, it just bend it over. But, you know, there's also a lot of spore down here. And it does look like we are back testing this trend line, even on like the medium time frames right here, guys. So even if you drop like the low to high 6.8 on the eight hour, you know, it's kind of getting close to that point as well, right? So right there on the six phase. So, you know, like I said, I think it's possible that this could be a one, two, three, four, and then we have one more push up like this, and then we get more of a retrace before we go up. You know, I think that's a possibility. The alternative is that we just do something like this and then we go up. But both of those scenarios that I think it is a you know bullish scenario, so that's what I think right now. So if you go down on time frames and just look at one hour, so there is this small little gap here, guys, right now, right here up to like 61k. It's still there, you know, 90, 95 percent of gaps get filled, even though it's not that big, it's still there. So you know, like I think you know, this is probably my eight count right now. Like if this is like a one, two, three four then i do think we have this one leg up before we get a a lengthier correction like that um that's kind of what i have to go with e even if you look at it another account this could also be like a one two three four and that's finished right so if that that's the case so let's move these around here if this was like your uh if that was your one right and that was your two and then that was your three, and then that right there is your four, and then that's your fifth. So now, you know, you can see that this is a com completed impulse, and now we're just looking for an ABC down. This would probably be a little bit more uh, lengthier than if that's the case, right? If we just bend over right now, 
then maybe we go down to like 55k or like that, right? But both these scenarios, like messing with spot, there's just multiple scenarios to be aware of. You know, this could be a one, two, three, four, and we go up 59k, then we go up, or this could go down to like 55k, or any of this area right here would be a massive, uh, another, in my opinion, buy opportunity before we go up. So that's kind of what I think right now, guys. And even if you look at the liquidity, you know, there's most liquidity is just down to this area, but there's ultimately a lot of liquidity going back up to like 68, 69K, guys. So just a quick update on Bitcoin. Let's look at some metrics. Um, so if you look at the my model here, this purple line is completely flush, guys. This is absolutely bullish. You know, when we got to the bottom range here, you could see it took a while to get back up to the top of range and the price went all the way back to 70K. Uh, and it bounced pretty hard while this thing is still low. So this is looking pretty bullish to me. Our size is still in oversold conditions. We ran into a little resistance here. It looks like we're just going to do something like this and go up, guys. That's still what I think. You know, MACD here, this looks like bullish divergence. This looks like this looks like an inverse head and shoulders pattern before we go up, guys. It looks bullish. You know, the volatility broke out of this accumulation zone, guys, the purple line, and it's still high vol. Now, it's probably going to do something like this and then go up, guys. That should correlate with price going up. The volatility might come down as we go back up or something like that. And then ultimately, you know, the range breakout should correlate with high volume, high volatility. You know, the funding and open interest. Open interest is completely flush, guys. The gray line and it's going back down there. Uh, the open in or the funding, net funding is still still creeping down, guys. These are both pretty bullish signals, in my opinion. The ETF net flows, you know, this is only Monday to Friday and it's on the daily close, but we are back testing this uh, top trend line. So this looks bullish as well. So yeah, I'm seeing a lot of bullish things, guys. Um, here's another angle, right, of the ETFs right here, right? It looks like we broke out of the wedge. We got positive ETF, ETF flows. We went up to 62K. If you look at the liquidation heat map, you know, there is uh, most of the liquidity is up, upwards, right? There's not much down here. Um, I, I do think, you know, we could get a push up like short term still, guys, even though we are kind of creeping down right now. That's, that's kind of what I think right now. Um, even on if you look at it, this angle, you can see that most of the liquidity is up above. There's not much below, right? And most of the liquidity even here is up above and not much below. Uh, if you look at my market script, this is one. This is another reason why I'm saying I, this this whole area here is just looks like accumulation. If you want to keep it simple and not even do Elliott Wave, you could just assume that this is accumulation, and this might just do like sideways like this before we go up, right? So that that's kind of what I think. Like, I'm not really worried about this right here. You know, like I said, either this is something that's going to happen or this is this is just going to go like this and then it's going to go up. Either ways, both, in my opinion, point towards us going up. If you look at my liquidity movement, this thing has been pretty good. You know, I wouldn't start relying on it too much, right? But this is just another thing to look at, right, out of the toolbox to see what's going on and... You know, it, it, it did top out and it is pointing towards this thing to drop, right? Movement, right? So that's kind of what it's doing right now. But, you know, ultimately, this is pointing towards the next two weeks of up, us going up. Now, we got to see if this correlates with us going back up to 70K. I think that's absolutely very, very important because if it doesn't and the price just goes like this, that's going to be a little bit more worrying because then it starts looking like that, right? So that's just something we have to keep an eye. I'll keep you guys updated. I have an uh, updated Ethereum count, guys, where I think that this could be like a triangle like this, right? And 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 this is just some kind of like one, two, three, four, and then we have a five move like bulb like that. And instead of this being a one, two, one, two, which is still a possibility because this is a wick and it didn't really break below that point. So it could still be a one, two, one, two, three, four. You just don't want to see a four back touch your wave one. The you know, probability goes down that that's a, that's a... That's a way for you know, but then you could you could just assume that this could also be a triangle, which would take a little bit longer for this to resolute though. Ultimately, you know, it still points to us going up for Ethereum. I want to update that Bitcoin dominance. I think that this is the final final move up, guys, as we kind of broke up here, and I do think this thing is going to drop. Right, this looks like a like a one, two, three, four. I have a few like windows up for bitcoin dominance i'm just keeping a massive eye on it so if you look at uh, the sport resistances uh template here you know we ran into a lot of resistance guys and the massive sport that it shows on here is at like 57.5k 
So are we gonna go like this and then go up, or are we gonna do some like this? I mean, this is a little, it's a little tricky to be honest, right? It, it, those are two just scenarios that I'm aware of that we might even go like that, but like I would say like this area, like 65k, is something I was leaning on, and then we get a correction before we go up. Um, so, anyways, it's showing like you know we did run into a resistance here, and it kind of is bending over a little bit but 57.5 k looks like where that macro uh support area is that, that, that this is showing right so if you look at uh heat maps here right so we did have a lot of bids that came in and there's still some bids positive bids right so another thing that's bullish um you know there's still a lot of gaps here and you know the high the all the orders are pretty much still at the top of the range right um Right, if we kind of zoom out here, you know, there, there are, back here is where a lot of there's uh, buy orders as well. This is just something I'm showing, guys. I would say, you know, all the sellers are at the top of the range, and there is buy orders spaced out here, right, all the way down, um, back to 50K. Um, but, you know, this was showing, like, it, you could see, though, that the, the, the orders here are getting less and less, right? It's getting thinner. Like when, when we were first dropping here, there was a lot of orders here, right? And when we were here, there was a lot of orders there. But now you could see that the orders, the limit, it's it's more of a gap in this area, guys. You know, and the volume is high and stuff. So we might just, you know, push back up to the top of the range and then, you know, do something like that and then go up or something like, you know, that's just something to be aware of. Uh, Coinbase shows absolute, absolutely the same thing, right? First off, there's a lot of bids coming in. You know, the volume is high, and there is there is a gap. This is still a gap, right? Um, there is uh, some sell liquidity at 65K and then, like, 68K, right? Which, which makes sense because the order blocks are right there. Uh, but you could see that the, the order book in this in this middle area is getting less and less right now There's not just not much there, right? Because this thing has just done this the whole time So you would expect it to just you know go top range bottom range over and over again um, So, you know just sharing my thoughts on that guys and there is a lot of limit orders down here still like the 50k if we do back test the bottom of this uh, of this wick point or even the middle point, right? It's a big if, right? But there is stacked uh, limit orders there, then stacked sell orders to the top of the range, right? So that's that. Um, I wanted to look at DXY, guys. And honestly, we might call it after that because uh, I want to try to keep these videos at like 15 minutes in length. But if you look at it like DXY, I, and I was re looking at DXY, let's just get rid of the RSI. I don't want you guys to look at that right now. But if you look at the DXY, when this thing drops a lot, you know, that's historically when Bitcoin has gone above the all-time high, right? Like this point, like I have drawn up these green boxes. So this is pretty correlated with Bitcoin going up. Um, and, you know, what's interesting is after DXY has gone up a lot, a lot of times it goes back up to touch like the 618 region, right? Like you have your B and then it goes down and that this C right here is when Bitcoin goes vertical. Right. So, you know, you have a push up, it tax is 618. This one was like a double top before it went down. We had like once again, we had a huge move up and then that's when the Bitcoin corrected. And then this thing had one more move up, right? Hold on a second right here. So like even even right here, right? So. If you do from this point to here, the 618, pretty much the B wave went back up. And then this drop right here correlated with Bitcoin going up to new highs, right? So if you look at what's going on right now, and first off, I want to point out, this is a pretty clean chart. This looks like a one, two, three, four, five to me, guys. So, uh, you know, I think that what we're about to see with DXY is like a WX like that guys something like that for a correction of this whole point up since 2010 and it should be this should be bullish for like risk assets like you know like bitcoin right well what's interesting is like from this point to this point it pretty much back tested the 5618 so what it's always done this b type wave which there is a triangle here like this it, you know it is correlating with this thing to drop down for the c wave like historically 
which is in line of uh, like Bitcoin going up, right? Like every single time. So we kind of have to assume that this thing is going to drop down to like 90, like right here. And that should correlate with Bitcoin going up, right? So I want to point that out. This is absolutely what I think. I mean, this, you know, triangles are historically like a, a key, like a, a pattern that continues the previous trend, right? Most of the time, you can't say always, right? It could always be like a tricky, like one, two, one, two, or like a WXY. But, you know, if it continues this trend and this is a triangle, then, you know, this is saying that it's going to break down. And that's just in line with everything else, right? So even if you drop the RSI, you could see this triangle here, right? Like that, um, which looks like, you know, that this is going to break down like this and get to this oversold conditions like it, it always has at this 20 level guys so that's the fat target there and bitcoin should run right so i just wanted to point that out i want to, to spend a little bit more time on the dxy uh so we're like 15 minutes in um yeah guys so you know that's pretty much all i got you know i, I don't want to keep these videos too long but even like you know bitcoin dominance I think this is just a final leg up, guys, like this before it breaks down. It's right going to the 618, 60% here at this point where there's also a volume cluster of resistance, guys. So just a quick update on my thoughts. You know, here are some altcoins real quick. I think Ethereum is like a triangle at this point. But if you look at like the R side, this does look like a, like a wedge finish for uh, Ethereum guys as well. So... Kind of looks like a triangle to me at this point. You know, solo just looks like a horizontal WXYXZ correction. That's actually very, very clean. Um, so if it does go down for one move, move down, you know, that's, you know, ultimately we should go up, guys. This is, in my opinion, everything is just coming down to patience. Same with Pepe. Pepe is just following Bitcoin, guys. You know, Dogecoin, I'm really keeping an eye on this bottom trend line like this for Doge BTC, the candles in the back that, you know, that should correlate, which is getting pretty close before this thing runs up, guys. So, and XRP looks pretty bullish, guys. Well, you know, I still think you know, this is on monthly. You gotta be very patient. It should break up, guys, out of this big triangle. Others D is back testing this 786, low to high 786, plus this bottom trend line, which last time was your uh, alt season star, guys. So, just a quick update on my thoughts, guys. All right, cool, guys. Thank you for watching.